What is up everybody? How's it going? So today I got two items from Harbor Freight. You guys might want to stick around. Uh, picked up a couple of good, interesting items. One is a Doyle. One is a Icon item. Um, so we're going to unbox them, take them out the package. We're going to look at them, talk about them. And uh, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys there. What is up everybody? How's it going? So today, uh, before we get started from this little, uh, a couple items I picked up from Harbor Freights, please like, comment, subscribe, and smush the bell notification icon for future updates. And before I pop, pop those out the bag, I got some Ryobi tools and a DeWalt tool that we're going to be coming, uh, going to be coming up on the channel soon. So these guys right here. I uh, picked up some accessories for this 18 volt cordless easy clean power cleaner from Ryobi which is 320 psi 0.8 gallons per minute picked up the 18 volt lithium cordless chemical sprayer which is a one gallon it, uh, it is a kit 79 bucks comes with a small little 1.3 amp hour battery picked up a, a accessory pack right here for some pressure washer tips as well as I picked up the DeWalt 5 amp, 5, 550 PSI power cleaner tool only, 550 max PSI. So we're going to be doing videos on that. It's a little quick sneak peek. Alright, so I grabbed an Icon item and a Doyle item. Um, the last time I went to Harbor Freight was, I don't know, I don't know, five months ago or so. I did pick up then which was two doyle items back then i picked up these style bolt cutters which work really well i'm actually quite pleased with them um and i picked up these little doyle um needle nose micro tweezer tipped pliers um and these are really really nice so this time I picked up the little small flush cut um, Doyle pliers. They're precision flush cut, five inch. They're exact same black handles. I'm not sure why they didn't put these two tools in the red handles. Because um, they're not even marked with Doyle on them. This one actually says Doyle on it. Um, but this just says conductive. Warning electricity. Same with this one. It just says conductive. I'm not really sure why it, they didn't put the Doyle branding on it. It would have been nice if they would have had the black and red branding with the Doyle on them. You know, it seems a little weird to me. It says ESO grip. Um, back says flush cut jaw provides clean cuts to eliminate sharp edges. Angled slim nose designed for easy access into tight areas. Electrostatic discharge grips for safe and comfortable use. Carbon steel construction for for lasting durability. So, it's weird how it says electrostatic discharge grips for safe and comfort use, but yet it says conductive on the handle. No sure, not sure. These are the new flush cuts by Icon. These are part number. Oh, let me read you the part number for this guy first. Five seven seven nine four for the flush cuts. And the Icon Flush Cut Pliers 6 inch with 3 quarter jaw capacity is Paul Frank Charlie 600. These guys right here, 3 quarter jaw capacity for multiple cable and wire sizes. Dipped handles helps reduce fatigue. And the handles are pretty nice. I kind of like them. Um, there isn't very much... Actually, I don't feel any flex in the handles. Um, I'm pulling pretty hard and they're not moving much. Flush cut jaws provide clean cuts to eliminate sharp edges. Heat treated steel with a fully polished finish provides durability and cut strength. Lifetime guarantee. Dipped handles helps fatigue. Sharp edges. Yep, same information on the back. So, these are the flush cuts from Icon. Plastic and soft wire only. 
That is a very, very wide opening. Definitely feels to touch. Very, very precisely machined. Doesn't feel like there's any stand-up. Well, you can slightly see through the jaw at the very, very bottom, which looks like that's about it. That little bitty tiny amount at the very bottom. So they are pre precisioned very, very nicely. The jaws are extremely sharp. They're actually peeling my skin off just by rubbing my finger across them. It does have a little, little protector in here as well. I'm not sure how well over time this is going to do. Doesn't seem extremely secure to be honest. Kind of loose. But they're nice. They're pretty nice. These guys right here. Just twist the packaging and pull them out. These are extremely sharp as well. I love, love dykes. That's what I call them. Um, that's what I grew up with. Um, I've got lots and lots of dykes. I've got several more. Um, so here's two others. Here is the Crescent version. Um, here are these Bleeds ones I got from Amazon for free that were sent to me. Um, they were like two bucks. Um, I got a pair of DeWalt's right here, the, the assisted, the spring loaded with the high leverage right here. I use the DeWalt's all the time. Previous video right before this one, I picked these guys up. I picked up basically one, two, three pairs of dykes today. I absolutely love dykes. They always help in a pinch for lots of things. Put these back in the drawer because they're not about the video. Um, I also have some from Tecton. Um, I've got some from Snap-on. I have some from Milwaukee um, and a couple other companies. They're just in the service truck. I'm not going to go outside just to go grab them real quick. But these, they do feel very nice in the hand. Uh, they are spring loaded like most of them. Uh, let's see what it will do with this plastic right here. Easy peasy. What will it do with the cardboard? Cuts the cardboard just fine. I'm going to grab these guys as well. Um, I'm going to use these um, as to give you guys an example. These are extremely flat. Like, extremely flat. So if I'm holding them down with my finger, trying to make sure that they don't fall, trying to pull up, I have to put a lot of force to pull them up. Um, and on this this uh, uh, workbench, you know, the flat surface of this, um, they are pretty, pretty dang flat. You know, this section of the, of the cart is actually warped with all the weight that I put on it. Um, but we'll cut this plastic real quick. It's not as loud as these guys. Which tells me that these are actually sharper than the Doyles. I just popped a piece off. Getting the plastic all over the bench, but... The cardboard. I cut the cardboard off. Easy peasy. Uh, 
I will do a separate dem demonstration video um, when I got time. I got lots of other stuff to do today. Got some more service calls to do. But um, I will definitely do some more videos on both of these guys. Maybe do a video and compare them with zip ties and stuff, you know, or wire what you'd be cutting with all of these types of um, dikes or flush cutters. Um, these are a type of flush cutters. Um, they're just a lot bigger than these. That's the only difference. These are a full-size flush cutter compared to these. Um, looks like there is a little grease coming out of the joint. Probably because I put the put a little pressure on them. The joint feels, it's still pretty stiff, but it feels a lot looser than it was. The grips are very nice. So I will definitely do update videos down the road. I will definitely do another dedicated video about them. Maybe put them head to head with the Crescents and the DeWalt's and the Milwaukee's. Um, uh, you know, the dikes and the other flush cutters I have. Um, hope this video is helpful to you guys. Um, please like, comment, subscribe. Smush the bell notification icon for future updates. Go check out my Amazon affiliate links, my Acme Tools affiliate links, my DJI Electronics affiliate links, as well as my Ohio Power Tools affiliate links. I hope the little demo was helpful at the moment. Um, Appreciate you guys stopping by. Um, one last thing, I want to say thank you to all the subscribers, non-subscribers, um, the two members that I have, which is Polar Bear Ed as well as Lawn Care Juggernaut. I'll put cards up here for Polar Bear Ed, and I will also put a card up here for Lawn Care Juggernaut. You guys, go check them out. Um, they are the members on the channel at the moment, as well as. Um, back to it, I wanted to say thank you to all of you guys, including you guys that like, dislike, watch the ads on the videos every once in a while, as well as um, you guys that use the affiliate links. You are the reason that the channel is monetized and is making money. All the money that the channel makes goes directly back into the channel. I will be picking up wood with money from the channel. Um, start doing head-to-heads. I need to pick up two Sheetmaster jaw horses for personal projects as well as we're going to be using them a ton on the channel, clamping wood down. Going to be doing head-to-heads with uh, hammer drills, impact drivers, drill drivers, recips, um, hacksaws or, or compact one-handed recips. Um, if you guys would like to provide any kind of Ryobi tool, 18-volt Ryobi tool, um, for channel testing, um, I don't plan on breaking any tools. I will happily send the tools back when I'm done doing videos on them. I'm not going to put in, them through any like massively harsh testing, just standard normal tests um, up against other tools, see how well they do. If you have any Ryobi tools that you can spare for some videos, please get a hold of me in the comment section or get a hold of me on um, email by uh, going to the about information on the channel. Some of the tools that I uh, have that we can do videos on, brand and voltages, Ryobi 18 volt, possibly 40 volt in the future. I've been eyeballing some tools for my wife's garden for, uh, with the Ryobi 40 volt line. Got uh, Milwaukee M12 and M18 brushed and brushless fuel tools. Got DeWalt. Um, 8 volt, 12 volt extreme, 20 volt XR, uh, 60 volt flex volt, as well as 120 volt flex volt. We got Metabo HPT or Hitachi Power Tools, 18 volt and 36 volt multi volt. We got Makita, 7.2 volt, 9 volt, 12 volt, 18 volt, 36 volt X2, as well as 40 volt and 80 volt. Uh, tools come into the channel for the last two. We got Bosch Stick 18 volt. We got Earthquake XT 12 volt and 20 volt. We got uh, Bosch 18 volt core. Got Metabo, regular Metabo 12 volt and 18 volt. And probably pretty sure I'm missing some. Oh, I got some old 12 volt Craftsman um, from like the Sears days. Um, as well as got uh, corded tools. We got old, old 
Um, Stanley, very, very old Black & Decker, old, old and somewhat um, new, as well as very old Black & Decker, I should say. Got um, old skill saw, got old Porter cable, um, old Makita, and mold, old Bosch for corded. I'm sure I'm missing a couple. Um, as well as got a bunch of pneumatic tools. So if any of that I have mentioned interests you guys, please smoosh the bell notification icon for future updates because we also got, uh, we got two Milwaukee switch tanks um, videos coming up for you guys. We're going to also probably compare the, the Milwaukee four-gallon switch tanks to this one-gallon Ryobi uh, chemical sprayer. And I'm probably going to be picking up the four-gallon Ryobi um, battery operated sprayer so we can compare it to the, the the Milwaukee and got this 320 PSI Ryobi easy clean power cleaner as well as the new DeWalt 20 volt 550 PSI power cleaner for coming to the channel so please smush the bell notification icon if anything I'd mentioned or any of the tools that I just gave you a sneak peek on pique your interest thank you guys so much for watching you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day. You guys stay safe, stay dirty, have fun, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace!